Hi, welcome to AmoSmith.com. And today, we're going to have some fun. Um, I'm going to show you how to take a 223 in this case, or a 22 caliber centerfire cartridge, and get it to where you can take a 22 caliber air gun pellet and launch it at about 650 feet a second. And this is good for if you live in an area where you can't go shooting all the time because it's snowed in, or you live in a in a city somewhere where you, you don't want to uh, travel miles and miles and miles to get to the range, but you still want to be able to get some trigger time on your favorite 22 caliber center fire rifle. So there's going to be some things you're going to need. You're going to need power drill. In this case, 223 brass. Your dies. 22 caliber air gun pellets, any brand will work as long as they're 22 caliber. Magnum rifle primers. You're going to need um, your primer pocket uniforming tool. In this case, we're going to retask this to be a reamer. I'm using my Yankee drill to bore out the, the flash hole. And you're going to need your center fire rifle and a couple of phone books. So, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, why do we need to drill? Well, we need to drill for a couple of things. We need to take this small rifle primer pocket and we need to ream it out to accept a large rifle magnum primer. And instead of chucking this in there, which most of you don't have a half inch drill, I know I don't. We're going to take this 3 8 inch drill and we're going to chuck the case in it. So basically we're going to turn this into a lathe. Drop the case in. You don't have to cone in this thing on there, just enough to where it's not going anywhere. Go ahead and get it started. Just, just hold it up against it like this. and it'll start gutting itself in. Once, once you have a beach head on this thing, once you get it started, go ahead and get the RPM going up a little higher. Once you get below the teeth on these things, you can only spin the drill for about maybe five or six seconds and you have to clear out because the tailings are just going to back up inside the primer pocket itself. So once you get some practice, this could, you can probably get a case done in about a minute. Once you're done um, with the case, it's going to get hot. There's another thing you need to know too. Once this case is finished, being reamed out, separate it, mark the bottom of it with a black sharpie because you cannot never ever use this again for um, firing live ammunition.
They're also I'll grab, but. I wouldn't worry too much about it. If it does grab, just let go of the reamer or the uniforming tool because it'll, it'll grab the case and spin it and chuck and it'll deform the case. As we get near the end, you want it to where it is absolutely, it's absolutely flush against the, um, the head of the case goes flush against the, the face of this. That way you know you've got a, a spec cut large rifle primer pocket. there. Just a tiny bit more. There it is. It's done. Okay. If you look at the case, you can see that it's been reamed out. Now what we need to do is take that drill bit and bore out the flash hole so all the pressure of the primer goes through the flash hole and exerts itself on the base of the pellet. And in that case, I use this. My little Yankee drill here. And the case stays checked in here, and we just put pressure up against the flash hole and let this turn. Takes a little bit, but I had this deck screw setting uh, device from. Makita, and that works really good because this thing is sharp. Let's put it in here. It cuts a hole out nice and wide so we don't have to worry about the primer backing out. But we still want to cut this thing out just a little bit further. So I go to the next step in the drill bit, which is an eighth inch drill bit. No, I'm sorry. 1164th. You want it to be not as wide as the primer pocket. You want to seat the, the bullet in there, or the primer in there, and have it just fall out. But you want it, or fall all the way through it, but you want all that power from that primer Now once you do this, once you cut this out, you need to go through there with your reamer again and just score up that. Flash hole again. Now I'm going to take some close-ups with this and show you what I'm talking about because the only way you're really going to see what's going on is if I take a close-up. So I got a couple cases here in different stages of preparation. And then we'll go ahead and um, get this thing ready to go.